Hi guys, I noticed a little scratch on my front rotors on my Nissan 2014 and I'm gonna take it off wheels and find out exactly where this scratch is coming from. I already purchased brake pads from Nissan dealer. It cost me only about $120. So let's get on and start taking the wheels off. First that you gotta do, you gotta lose them. But not all the way. You just lose them a little. Just enough that way you can loosen them when you lift up the car. As you see, I have a one on it as a key. You know, the newer cars has it, so no one can steal it. So, this one is very important making sure you don't use an impact gun on this. You gotta use just a hand tool. Okay. So that's loose. There you go. And still leave a jack on for a little insurance. So that will lock now the gown. Now we can take the impact wrench. <coughs> Gonna back them off all of them except this one. This one has to be backed up at the hand. <coughs> <coughs> Put them aside that way, not in your way. And do this one by the hand. As you see, if that gets stripped, you'll be done with it. So, this is good usually to replace the regular bolt after a while, just before it's too late. So put those away. Now, we're going to pull this wheel off and see why that scratch in my rotors. So if you see this line here, that's my scratch, and it's obvious it comes from the brake pads. But why? As you see over here, these brake pads, they have a still long life. At least another 40 to 50,000 miles on this car, these brake pads can last just by looking. So to take them out, we got to lose this bolt and the bolt down here. So I believe... That's a number 14 millimeters. I don't need nothing bigger to loosen it. So I gotta lose them this way. As you see they come right loose. And then the one down here on the bottom, as you see right over here, I lose that boy too. And now they come out right with the finger. And uh, these boys are not that big, they're small. So now what you do is just take all this out. Either use a jammy cord and hook it up here and something up with the control arm. Nissan has this area here, make sure it doesn't fall off. And the whole reason is you don't want to keep a pressure on this cord at the uh, hose. This is your uh, fluid supply for your brakes. All right, so now let's pull the pad off. You simply just uh, First get this little spring out. I'll explain you what this spring does. See it's loaded. It has a hole here and a hole here. And same thing on top. So when you put this in these two holes, what this does, it keeps the pads away from the rotor. That way when you have a long ride without touching the brakes, this is not gonna be scratching your rotors. So as you see over here, I found only one that was down here on this side nothing here which is probably enough at least to keep a one end out this one will separate eventually by itself but it's better to have a two so let's not pull the pad out see if there's anything wrong with this boy well if you see it has a lot of life i bought the brand new ones from nissan that cost me only 120 dollars for fronts and i'm telling you one thing the new ones don't have a whole whole lot of meat more than this one so let's compare them together. This one has just a little bit less meat than this one. And I put on this one over 80,000 miles already. So what that tells me is I'm probably going to be able to use this one another 40 or 50,000 easy. So I think I'm going to be getting my $120 back from Nissan.
this one probably gonna go back and I'm gonna replace them when I actually need them not when I don't so four of them come just like this no hardware no nothing that's how they come for the other now let's uh, see what that caused the scratch in my rotors so it seems like see this shiny over here reflects back I think that's what caused a scratch in my rotor let's go back out in the rotor and see if we can confirm that if you see this part will land right where that scratch was when you put that in that little line so I don't think that this would come into the pads when you bought them I don't feel anything rough here but it seems like it's just a mark but so I'm gonna try to see if I can check that out come in here in the light see if I can if this comes out I might pick something from the road oh you see it came right out whatever that was it's a piece of metal or glass or something that was inside my brake pad and that caused that scratch I will take the one on the back too so I think we're good with this I'm gonna just use a little wire brush but this is not healthy to bread but when you do it make sure you have a, a air blow it out or kind of use it the uh, brake spray or cleaner or something I'm gonna do just a little bit so just to keep it clean enough and all this rust I'm gonna try just to uh, wire brush a little out before it goes all back you put this one aside check if that's one on the back how this one look like they come out relatively easy oh here's the one on the back okay so this one does not have any metal shavings in it huh okay so looks like we found a problem so if you guys ever seen in your uh, rotors scratch like this you almost can be positive a cause that you pick some piece of metal on the road or something or a piece of rust that went in there and just basically destroys ruins your rotors but uh, I'm just lucky I'm probably going to be saving $120 I'm going to just clean it up just a little bit this way and this thing's not relatively clean but if you get an older car that's over 20 years old or something old this might look different because this newer car uh, never has been touched with any mechanic except Nissan or Belton. So I'm the first one who's opening that. So this brake pad too looks like it will last for a very long time. So I'm gonna be putting it back, but I will tell you how I will show you how to compress this one's back to fit when you replace the new rotors. This obviously gets thicker, you gotta open this thing so more back that we can hug out it. It's simply you can use a e, uh, C clamp or something. Uh, I'm gonna put this one back a little quick here guys so all you do is basically if you see down here that's it that's all it does it's a little hard to see on the outside but you can see right here in the front so this part here will go here behind the shrink right over here and same thing on top so relatively easy so we'll go like this. I put them down here first in the bottom. Let's see. Like that. And then I go on the top and just push them in. Okay, so that's it now. Now, if you put in the new pads, to obviously like I mentioned a little thicker. So you need to use a C clamp. I don't have to do this, I'm almost positive this time because I didn't change them. I'm gonna just put them back. I was just discovering and seeing what the crotch got it so we can just basically use a C clamp and clamp it here and just clamp it down one first push it in I open it a little too much so clamp it you can either use a C clamp or any other other clamp that you have that would fit there just pressure it in and then and go do this one same thing or if you have a type of the clamp they can grab both of them at once but uh, what they prefer also to open your uh, uh, fluid container cap inside under the hood I'm not gonna do that this at this point but I never opened them before when I was replacing them but you can actually open it's maybe easier because you're backing up the fluid when you do this so this part it's gonna go back on here guys if you see the little tiny hole the hole here back up a little more and it's a hole right here 
but don't miss it. Make sure you're in a hole. You don't want this thing to hook up anywhere else. It's gonna go in between your rotor and pads. Will just ruin it real bad. So make sure you're right in the hole. So you need to be kind of wink. I link it like this. Make sure it's in there. Then then you just basically slide this right back. It relatively goes in easy. And drive them in with your fingers first as much as you can. Okay, we'll go by the one too. Alright, so that's in by fingers. Now we'll take a torque wrench. Now we'll go adjust it there too. There you go. That's the final. That's the final. That's it. That's how I do it. For you guys just to confirm, make sure you check with the Nissan dealer or someone, just call them. They will tell you. What's well, the torque on now? The torque are kind of very important. Now, so that's it. We solve. The problem with what's causing the scratches and my good and nice rotors. Now we're gonna put that wheel back. I get my bolts ready. I mean nuts. Let's pick the wheel. <laughs> And I'm going to start with this one first, it doesn't matter. But I just started and leave it in there. Then I go with this one. Okay, so now, all this ones, I do them with a the hand first. I will tell you why in a second. Why am I doing them all with the hands? And then you're gonna use your impact and then uh, you're gonna use your torque wrench for final. So what I do as I do this, I kind of turn the wheel. But this does this release the pressure from the nuts, making sure they are equal and going straight in. Not driving a 1 16th off or 1 30 seconds. That's going to settle while we're driving down the road, and this nuts might come a little bit loose. That's why it's important when you do your torque settings now, it's a good thing to double check after 50. Or 100 miles. Now I take this and put it on there real quick. Tie this thing up a bit. Down here. Down here. Okay. Do not use your impact gun or any kind of impact on this key. So we lift it up the jack a little bit. Remove the jack stand. Go slow with it. All right, this is a low profile jack, but you don't have to use this. You can use just your regular jack that comes with your Nissan. They work awesome too. But none of this I wouldn't use if I am out on the road somewhere. I would be using my regular tools that comes with the car. Now we gotta set this wrench again. And then just go in there and do one on this side, then go back on this end. Okay, now go up here, this one, and then go down to the bottom. Okay, now go this one. Now go the wrench, key. Okay, so now we'll double check them, start counting from here. That one is fine. That's good. 
That's good. That's good. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.